Hi, I'm Rebecca Fife. I'm an urban wildlife manager and I approach the control of urban wildlife with a deep respect for all living creatures and for the environment. One of the most challenging projects that I work on is bat colony remediation. Bats are essential to the health of our natural world. They're important pollinators and they help control insect pests. Join me in the field today and see what my team is up to. A colony of bats have taken up residence in an office building and we need to remove them, protect the building, prevent the bats from coming back, but do so without harming a single bat. Um, the structure itself was built in 1893. It started out as a schoolhouse um, and now it's being used for corporate purposes. We were contacted by the folks that are renovating this structure. They realized right away that they had a, an animal issue of some sort in the attic space. They immediately identified it as uh, brown bats, went through a full inspection top to bottom of the building, determining all of the areas in which these animals were accessing the attic space. Inside this structure, we're dealing with a day roost. There is an accumulation uh, of guano within the attic space and a large uh, colony size. One of our best indicators is spider webs, because as you can see that glob up there, the spider webs actually caught all the guano in a big pile, because where they're actually exiting from is right up behind this uh, tin gusset here. So on each corner, there's a gap, and the gap allows the bats to get from the exterior into this interior attic space, and this is pretty much their roosting space, so this is where they're living currently. One of the first things we're looking for is a buildup of guano. Uh, the second thing that we're looking for is what's called a rub mark. Uh, the way that a rub mark occurs is the oils and dirts that are built up on the back side of the bats as they're entering and exiting the structure. It's rubbing off onto the wood or the stone so it discolors it. So it's an easy way for us to identify whether or not that's a primary uh, entry point. An excluder is a one-way door. It's a device that allows an animal, in this case a bat, to exit the structure but not re-enter. We'll come out, we'll seal up all the areas needed, we'll install the excluders. One of the most important parts of the bat exclusion process is that we do address the entire linear footage of the structure. You're sealing up all of the gaps around the structure that they could potentially take advantage of and enter the structure because if you don't, you will just chase them around the building. So anytime we seal a structure, when we're giving a guarantee, we seal the whole thing because that's the only way we really can give a guarantee. Once the bats have left or exited the structure, two to three weeks later, we come, we pull the excluders, we finish sealing the gaps where the excluders were set, and then the remediation process starts. The remediation process is getting rid of all of the contaminants and the deposits that the bats had left on the inside of the structure. So we go through all of the NACOA bat standards and practices with properly excluding these guys uh, to make sure that we're not causing any harm to them, but able to remove them from the structures where we're removing the concern for human health and safety out of the picture. We realize the importance of the bats in our um, ecological system uh, and how everything goes around full cycle. There's just a lot of aspects about the bats that are very beneficial to the environment um, and that's why we prefer you know excluding them and doing it in the proper manner. I'm really glad that you got to see what the team does and I want to show you just a little bit more about bats. These are some bat specimens and what I want to demonstrate to you is just how tiny a bat's skull is. Bats can squeeze through pretty much anything that they can get their skull through. So when we bat proof a structure we have to seal up any crack that's this size. So inspecting a gigantic building to find any crevice that would let something this tiny through is really a challenge. I hope you enjoyed seeing how we remove a bat colony without harming any bats. I hope you'll join us again for another Nuisance Wildlife Control Adventure.